Here's number seven of our conversation with Joseph Williams of Toto. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Was it called 20? The It was called 20, Toto 20 when you came back, right? But Yeah, Toto, Toto 20 was meant to be a sort of a, a, an, an album where that wasn't like going to be produced from top to bottom, but a product that could be put out. And it was a, it was an assemblage of songs that were written and unfinished from my period in the album. A, a couple of things when Bobby was in the album, I'm not sure if anything survived that was unused from from isolation. But that but that 20 album, that's what that was. So they, they in '98 at some point or 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 '97 or '98, Dave called me and said, "Hey, we." We want you to come back in and we're going to finish a couple of songs that actually were going to be part of the seventh one. And uh, and so the and and then Bobby was also going to come in and finish some things that they had unfinished uh, with him from the old days. And then there, were, there was a few instrumental pieces that they wanted to do. So that was the idea behind that project, which I was like, I'm I'm in, I'm all in. So, it, so it was, uh, a, a, we worked in the studio for a little while and then we had a couple of rehearsals up at Dave's house with both me and Bobby. And, uh, and we did one tour to support the release of that album in, in, uh, in Europe. And it was fantastic. It was great. And, and, and at that time, you know, he's Bobby's such a strong singer and he was still so very much t- together and everything. And I was in television mode. I had, was raising my kids and, and beginning my career and for 15 years working in TV. So he just, he just, you know, like, you know, sang his ass off over, on, on that tour over me. That was when they hired him back. That was when he came back in 1999, right before that. Uh, that was a great little time. I remember that uh, uh, being able to go out and do shows with the, with the guys with both of us. I was talking to uh, the uh, two of the Boston guys, Jim, their first drummer, Matt Mazdia, and uh, Barry Goudreau a, a little while ago, and uh, talking about what they thought were great stages of Boston. For instance, you know, um, Jim came back for a third stage. He was on that, but he only played a rock and roll band on the first album. Then Sib did all the drumming on that, but. Um, a lot of times people will mention, they'll say, you know, when, when Fran Cosmo and Brad Delp were up there together, you know, uh, the, even though Fran wasn't involved with a lot of the big hits, but Fran could sing a little higher than he could. And it, right. he, I mean, your voice changes. How did you guys go back and forth? Did you sing some of, when you were with Bobby, how did you guys decide to, to, uh, to, to split up the, the songs? I mean, was that just you <laughs> sung your songs, he sang his? Ba- pretty much. Basically, it was just that, that, that like, you know, I, we, we, in that particular set of songs, there were two or three things that we did off of the, tw- the, the XX album. Yeah. Uh, one of them was, uh, um, uh, oh God, what was one of the ones that I wrote with Dave? I, I forget. There was, there was Modernize and there was a couple of other ones. But we did, I think, I think one of the ones off of that album that I yeah. sang, and then I've got, and then, of course, I did Pamela and I did Stop Loving You. That was those were my big songs that I would do when we would go out on the go out on the road. And then I would be out to sing backgrounds while Bobby came out and did his parts on Hold the Line, Africa and, and Rosanna. And I'd be out there singing the har- background harmonies. What and about going home, back- though? Let, let me interrupt you. What about going home? Because he sang it on XX, right? And you sang it on your solo album. Correct. If I'm correct. We did it. We did. If we did that live, which I can't remember, he he definitely sang the lead. Okay. I, that that much I can tell you, because because it it was a it was a, it was a song Dave and I wrote like right before I left the band that I ended up doing on a solo album that Toto eventually did. That's what it was. Oh, so that would have been possibly a song off the 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 eighth one or the one after that, right? Correct. That was that was like one of those songs that Dave and I had written that was in a batch of songs that would have I, I, it would have ended up on the next album had I stayed in the band. 